There's a good one, boys. I can tell by the way he hit it. Wow, oh, belly. What a healthy fish. Isn't that a pretty thing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, look at that. I've caught two before, but never two giant. Look at that. Ooh, my goodness. Ooh, my goodness. Get it on video right there. Can you believe that? Look at that. Paw, paw. Maybe the giant of a lifetime right here. Oh, my goodness. The gold's right here, Pa. <laughs> the gold's right here, Pa. There he is. I caught me one. I got one. Not a very big one, but I got him. I got me a bass. First bass of the day. Keeps the doctor away. I'm gonna keep these little fellas. We'll keep a few little fellas. There's a good one, boys. I can tell by the way he hit it. I can tell by the way he hit it. Man, he loaded up on it. Pushed it to me. It's just solid weight. Solid weight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Got him a mouth full of pawpaw. Ah, you big old pretty thing, you. Look at him. Look at you now. Look at you now, what you've done to yourself. He hit that thing like a ton of bricks. Wow, the belly. What a healthy fish. Isn't that a pretty thing? Healthy fish. The gold's right here, Pa. <laughs> the gold's right here, Pa. There he is, boys and girls. A nice one. I don't even see him. He is down there. I think I can get it out though, the way it looks without really hurting him, Dad. Don't move, buddy. Don't move, buddy. Don't move, buddy. I need a long one. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. Yes, sir. Did not hurt you. Thank you for not moving. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. And you're going to live happily ever after. That is so important that they listen to you. You know, I tell my kids that. Just listen. I'm not going to tell you something wrong. There he is, little old popo. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, I had two. I had two on Paw Paw. Look, I still got them. I still got them. Look at that. I still got them. Two giant, I mean, two really great fish. Look at this. They're still on there. Look at that. I've caught two before, but never two giants. Look at that. There's no way I'll land them. But get it on video right there. Can you believe that? Look at that. Paw Paw, look what you've done, Paw Paw. Look what you've done. I'd love to land them. There's no way I'll ever land them. Not both of them. That can happen. Man. There's two. I landed them. Can you believe that? Look at that. Paw Paw, can you believe that? Look at that. I cannot believe that. Who needs a 10 pounder? Just catch a six and a four. There's more than one way to get a 10 pounder. 
Can you believe that happened that I landed these fish? This is crazy stuff. This is just insane. God. This is crazy. All right, I'm gonna have to have, we're gonna take a commercial break. And we'll be right back. I'm really getting my cameraman to help me with a pair of needle nose because I don't want to hurt these fish. Oh, say, Ed, you did remember to get those extra tackle boxes, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. How about the net? Yes. And you got the bait, right? <laughs> yes, Dennis. <laughs> How about the tri lead? Yep. Yeah. Ed? I got plenty of fishing line. Ed, Ed, Ed. We ain't going fishing without Berkeley Trilene. Berkeley Trilene, America's number one selling fishing line. Okay, we're back from the commercial now. Watch this. Ah, he came loose on his own. Amazing. Isn't that unreal? Beautiful fish. Another beautiful fish. Yes, sir. There's more than one way to get a 10 pound bass. Just catch a six and a four. Paw paw. Isn't that something? Look at that beautiful thing. Bye bye, my buddy. Double your pleasure. Double your fun. <laughs> Paul Paul. Paul Paul showed out. I've done a lot of crazy things. We had a bird in Venice, Louisiana, fly into the bay boat, about hit me in the head, hit the console, landed in the back, in the seat. Sat there for about three seconds and flew out like nothing ever happened. Yesterday, I was fishing fluorocarbon on a drop shot and a pelican flew into the line. Well, he got wrapped up in the line, so he just stopped. Smart pelican, he landed. And when he landed, he didn't know whether he was still hooked in the line or not. So he just sat there and not knowing he was free, he just sat there. And so I made a cast, fixed my drop shot, made a cast and caught about a three and a half pounder. And he come swimming to the boat, got from here to that rod from me, three feet from the boat. And as soon as I pulled that three and a half pound fish out of the boat, he ate it. And I hollered at him, no pelican, no pelican, no pelican. And he dropped it just like a dog was listening to me. I said, no pelican, it's got a hook in it, no pelican, and he spit it out. No, you got my hook, pelican. No, pelican. No, pelican. No, pelican. No, buddy, I got my hook on there. I don't want to hurt you. Mm. He's a yeah, little big for you. He would have ate that bass. And I said, you stay right there, and we'll catch you a fish. And I was fishing with Billy Henderson, and that pelican stayed right there. Billy pulled up about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds, and fed it to him. He got it, got it, and his goozle, it was going everywhere, and he, Swam away. It's crazy. Here. 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 Got it. <laughs> he got him. Look at him. He got it. Look at us in his crawl. Hello, pelican. He is a happy pelican. Got him a bath. First time in 38 years we have fed a pelican a bath on Hank Parker TV. 
Where him is. My goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, God. That is the biggest fish, maybe. I caught a 12 at Lake Fork. This may be the biggest one I've ever caught. God, wow, awesome. Awesome, God, look what a fish, look what a fish. Oh my goodness. 11, 11.36, 11.36, 11.36. <laughs> All right. Let me get that good There we go. Here she goes. There she goes. Greatest feeling in all of bass fishing is to catch a fish 10, 8, 9, 7, 6, 11, 36, and let it go. That is a great feeling. That fish will bite another day. God. Is that awesome? That's awesome. Biggest fish I've ever seen. 11, 36. That's the biggest fish that's been caught here? Yes. 1136. Yeah. I had to call the whole group because everybody says, I wish you'd have weighed that fish. What that fish weigh? I caught a 12 at Lake Fork and uh, we didn't weigh it, but I know it weighed 12 pounds. It had scales on its side, but I called it 12, but I really don't know what it weighed, but it was a giant. So I called it a 12. That fish right there, 11.36, so I don't have to guess. So that's why I wanted to do it and I wanted Todd to see it. And so we stopped everything and we got this little breeze. It's been slick, calm, that little breeze started blowing and boom. It's amazing. Now we're gonna leave these scales with you. We're <laughs> gonna need them again. We, we got our very own scale. Mm-mm-mm. Second biggest one I ever caught. Really? A lot of cats? On TV, yeah. I caught a 13.3 down there in the canals at Disney. 13 pound, three ounces. All right, well, we're just not having very much fun. This is just. Yeah, I'll, can I ride? You can ride. Come on. I don't fish, I can ride. Come on. There you go. There's a good one there. Oh, oh we we'll don't see that. <laughs> Look what did it. Oh, <laughs> did it and got a hope to. Look. Oh, you big old pretty thing. You big old pretty thing. The main thing is don't panic. Keep you cool. Keep you cool, boys. And girls, uh -huh. don't get excited. Nobody's going to get hurt here. Be real careful. 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 Uh -huh. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. You pretty thing, you. That fish will weigh seven pounds from me. 
take our five fish to uh, up two more pounds. Uh, Eleven, seven, two, six, and a five. Thirty-five. That's thirty-five. Not counting the ounces, though. No, it's not counting the ounces. That's thirty-five. Sell them rovers or seven something. Or... That's thirty-five. Well, heck, we might have us thirty-eight pounds. But count them ounces. But a lot of people had a lot of good time right now, too, already. Very kind to share. That's the truth. That's exactly the truth. I tell people about deer hunting. I look back. I've killed some really big deer, but it's really the people you hung out with and the fun. Old Stevie set himself on fire up there at Harley's. That was hilarious. He called me one morning. He packed enough sandwiches. I said, Stevie, you'll never, if you stay three days, I, you'll never eat all that. And uh, he said, you don't know Stevie. And so I talked to him on the radio at 10 o'clock. I said, have you been in that bag of food? He said, they ain't a crumb left. <laughs> at 10 o'clock, he had 13 sandwiches. There he is, there he is. Paw, paw. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I don't believe we heard him. Don't believe we heard him at all. He looked pretty good in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Didn't hurt him. We got us a rider over here. Got us a fish over here. Got us a pawpaw over here. <laughs> We're going bye-bye. Thanks for being with me. God bless you. Todd, tell him bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Temper ghost. Yep. Yep, later on, boys and girls. God bless you. I'm Hank Parker. I think you probably might be catching more on Pawpaw than anything that you'd be fishing with on him. Pawpaw's worked.